Welcome to Shanti Peaceful Methods. In this video, we are discussing about the Lagrange method for undetermined multipliers. Sometimes it is required to find out the stationary value of the function of a several variable which are not independent but they are connected by some given relation. For example, in the previous one of the video lecture, I have discussed that if you have given three positive integer that is x, y, z and the product of this positive integer is 64 and you have to find out this three positive integer such that the sum of this integer is minimum. So this minimum value is depends on this given condition. So whenever such type of situation is given to you, the Lagrange multiplier method is useful to calculate the extremum value of this function. So let us go to the notation first of all and then we will try to see what is the working rule to calculate the extremum value using the Lagrange multiplier. So if you have the given function u which is a function of x, y, z and it connects with the relation pi of x, y, z equal to 0. Now we calculate what is del u by del x equal to 0, del u by del y equal to 0 and del u by del z equal to 0 because this function has the stationary value at this point. Now since this del u by del x, del u by del y and del u by del z are 0, we can write del u by del x into dx plus del u by del y into dy plus del u by del z into dz is also 0. But what is this side? It is nothing but the total difference of u which we denoted as du. And pi of x, y, z is already 0. If you differentiate this, then also for this we will have del phi by del x dx plus del phi by del y dy plus del phi by del z dz is also gives you 0 due to the phi of x, y, z is 0. So del phi by del x is 0, del phi by del y is 0 and del phi by del z is 0. So hence if I add this two equation, this is the first equation and this is the second equation. If I add this two equation by multiplying a parameter lambda to this equation 2 and then add them, we will get del u by del x plus lambda del phi by del x dx plus del u by del x del y plus lambda del phi by del y dy plus del u by del z plus lambda del phi by del z dz equal to 0. This will satisfy the equation that is this is equal to 0, this is equal to 0 and that will is equal to 0. Now there are three equations you will have. This three equations are del u by del x plus lambda del phi by del y del x is 0. Del u by del y plus lambda del phi by del y is 0. And the third one is del u by del z plus lambda del phi by del z is equal to 0. And this three equation with this equation phi of x, y, z is equal to 0 will determine the value of x, y, z and the value of lambda which gives you a stationary value for this function. So this method is working as Lagrange multiplier method. So let us see what are the working rule to find out the stationary value for this function. So I am just making a working rule for Lagrange multiplier method. So first you need to calculate capital F which is F plus lambda phi. What is F is a function for which you need to calculate the stationary value. Phi is the given condition. Then you need to calculate what is Fx delta F upon delta x. 
delta f upon delta y equal to 0 and delta f upon delta z is equal to 0. All these points will give you stationary points. And you solve these three equations together. So this is the step 1. The step 2 is to solving this equation. And the step 3, you need to find out the value of solving this equation together with phi of x, y, z equal to 0. And you can have the value of x, y, z you obtain. They are the extremum value of the function f, x, y, z. The, all through the Langlais method is often very useful to application. Here, drawn back is that we cannot determine the nature of the stationary points. That means we cannot determine that whether the stationary points are maximum point gives you maximum value or minimum value and it depends on the physical problem on which problem you are dis dealing with. For example, in the case of the cost I have started the video with, we have the given that we need to calculate this function we have to consider as small f of x, y, z because we need to calculate what is the three positive integer whose sum is minimum and the product is 64. So that's why the sum as a function and the phi of x, y, z I should define as x, y, z minus 64 because the given that the product is 64. Now due to this working rule we need to define the function f which is f plus lambda phi that's why it is x plus y plus z plus lambda x, y, z minus 64. The next task is to calculate fx, fy and fz and it is equal to 0. So fx will be 1 plus lambda y, z. fy is 1 plus lambda x, z fz is 1 plus lambda xy. Now fx0, fy0 and fz0 will give you fx0 will give you 1 plus lambda yz is 0 which is equal to fy is 0 which gives you 1 plus lambda xz is 0 and the third one is fz is equal to 0 which gives you 1 plus lambda xy and together with this equation that is xyz is equal to 64 then now we need to solve these four equations and find out the value of xyz and the lambda that is the task so from the first equation we will have lambda is equal to minus 1 upon yz that is equal to minus x upon z that we will get from this and from this we get minus so that's why it is 1 upon yz, 1 upon xz equal to 1 upon y, xy. Now if I multiply by xyz then it is x is equal to y equal to z. So that is gives you x is equal to y equal to z and if you substitute this value of x is equal to y equal to z here you will have x cube equal to 64. Since x is a positive integer the only possible value is x is equal to 4. So, your y is 4 and z is 4. So, this way the Langlais multiplier method works. But you don't know whether this function gives you maximum value or minimum value. That is a drawback of the Langlais multiplier method. So, in this video, I have discussed you about the Langlais multiplier method. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or a question, please drop down in the comment box below. See you next video.